Hello, my name is Dave Brandt. Uh, we farm in Fairfield County, 1,250 acres of continuous no-till corn, soybeans, and wheat. We also have 100% under cover each fall when uh, harvest season's over. And behind is our new uh, purchase of uh, air seeder. And what we do with it, we go in standing corn and soybeans and sow our cover crops about 30 days before harvest. That way we have a 30 day window of uh, growth before we take the crop off. And when we take the crop off, our cover crops come right up and are going. Uh, I think it's a wise investment. We've tried to use uh, an airplane to do aerial seedings and have not quite been as successful as I'd like to see it. Uh, we're working real diligently with uh, uh, blends of six, eight, and 10-way blends. Directly behind me is a 10-way blend. And what we're doing here with this is we're, we're using it to loosen the soils, to build organic matter. Uh, we're, we're presently looking at about 22,000 pounds of biomass, which will increase our organic matter here in this plot about three quarters of 1%. The reason we're using so many is we'd like to have what I call a community working together. We have all the plants doing their thing. We have the tall species that tend to uh, terminate themselves when the, soil, when the air temperature is 34 degrees and then the smaller plants like the winter peas and the radishes and the crimson clover and the hairy vetch will grow clear in and sometimes survive all winter long. So this way we get lots of diversity and we have the soil covered about 360 days a year. On this farm, we lose less than 100 pounds of soil per year because of our cover crops. That's been a benefit to us.